And now north of the border, where Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is facing a major political setback after a key ally of his minority government pulled its support ahead of the general election next year. In an online video, New Democratic Party leader Jagmeet Singh said that liberals failed to take on the conservative opposition. Singh expressed his growing frustration with the prime minister's liberal party, adding it was too weak and selfish to fight for Canadians. Hey, I notified the prime minister that I've ripped up the supply and confidence agreement. Canadians are fighting a battle, a battle for the future of the middle class. Justin Trudeau has proven again and again, he will always cave to corporate greed. The liberals have let people down. They don't deserve the NDP leader further said he would run for prime minister in 2025 and restore hope in Canada. I'm running for prime minister because together we can and will stop conservative cuts. We can deliver relief and restore hope, fix health care, build homes you can afford, stop price gouging. It's always impossible until it isn't. It can't be done until someone does it. If we're together, nothing is impossible and we won't let them tell us it can't be done big corporations and wealthy ceos have had their government it's the people's time now the two parties struck a deal in 2022 to keep prime minister trudeau in power until mid 2025 in exchange for more social spending prime minister trudeau has reacted to Singh's surprise announcement saying he will not indulge in politics and will focus on tackling the country's high inflation and housing crisis. Not focused on politics. I'll let other parties focus on politics. I'm focused on actually delivering the things that Canadians told me this summer they need. I had thousands of conversations with people across the country. Very few of them wanted to talk politics. They wanted to talk how are they going to make sure uh, that they can afford their, their rent as they get back to school in the fall. How they're going to be able to hope to one day be able to own a home. Now to be clear, Singh pulling his support for the Prime Minister does not mean a snap election is imminent. However, it could force Canada to go to the polls before the scheduled election date next year. In fact, a no confidence vote could be on the table soon, and Prime Minister Trudeau would have to find other support in Parliament to survive the floor test. Canada's lower house of Parliament currently has 154 Liberals, 119 Conservatives, and 24 NDP members. And so far, opinion polls have shown the Conservatives well ahead of the Liberals with 43% against, while 21% in favor of Liberals. Grappling with a major affordability crisis, it seems like Canadians are looking for new leadership as Prime Minister Trudeau completes almost 10 years in power. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. Kamala, you're fired. I say, bring it on. If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issue. But above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. 
We are counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished.